Just a quick one guys before we get into today's video, we have released our July drop, we have the Liverpool Originals t-shirts, along with the We've Conquered All of Europe t-shirts. Do browse the new collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copyclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well, before we do get into today's video, as always, please do, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, as I said, you know the drill by now, 50k is the goal by the end of July, so if you haven't already hit the big red button, please consider doing so, as we'll keep you up to date with everything in the Liverpool camp this summer. Like today, there's some big news from Fabrizio Romano, look, in the summer transfer window, you know there's some media outlets not to listen listen to but then there's some journalists sort of David Ornstein's Paul Joyce's Fabrizio Romano's and certain other journalists that I said you do listen to and you take their sort of stuff as gospel and as I said we have got some massive news from Fabrizio Romano to discuss in today's video whilst also going over the sort of state of play of July and August now let's go into it transfer news has been fairly quiet over the last sort of couple of days since Dominic Sabozlai uh, was announced as a Liverpool player. And since then, there has been loads of different reports coming out. We had the Athletic stating that um, the club were interested, of course, in Romeo Lava. We had Paul Joyce set. We had Fabrizio Romano set. However, there was a sort of a curveball, if you like, that came in stating that Liverpool needed to sell someone to bring somebody in. But there is a lot of sort of confusion around certain aspects of the stories. But today, Fabrizio Romano has provided a major update along with sort of Sky Sports as well. So we'll discuss that in today's video and see what they have to say with regards to Romeo Lavia. So let's start with Sky Sports. So Liverpool, um, basically this one comes from Sky Sports as I said, Liverpool view Lavia as a long-term anchor, but there would need to be a significant dent in Southampton's asking price for the Belgium international, who would also need to make clear and filled as his destination of choice. Okay, so we already know that Southampton wants around 50 million quid. Liverpool will not pay 50 million quid for Romeo Lavia. And to be fair, I don't think many clubs will pay 50 million quid for him. I think 40 million pounds is fair enough, but not 50, that extra 10 million pounds. He's down in the championship um, and all the rest of it. But as I said there, with that point that he needs to make Liverpool his sort of prime destination, as we already know, Liverpool do not get involved in bidding wars. And we already know that Arsenal and Chelsea are said to be interested. I don't think Arsenal is a problem, to be perfectly honest. Um, Chelsea is the main situation, of course, because they just spend money like it's, uh, it's, it's growing on trees. Um, but Arsenal, of course, yes, they have spent big this summer. But they've already spent big on Declan Rice, spent big on Jury and Timber. So I can't believe and I don't believe they'll spend 50 million quid on Romeo Lavia as their FFP constraints as well. They haven't sold any players and Arsenal in just general wouldn't pay 50 million quid for him. Yes, if Chelsea are involved, then yes, they could pay that sort of money for the player and a sort of team that would play, pay the money. But Liverpool's approach to this is actually trying to speak to Romeo Lavia much of the time that Jurgen Klopp usually does to avoid a bidding war, make sure that Romeo Lavia goes, do you want to play for Liverpool? Yes, well, tell your agent, tell the other clubs that are involved and tell Southampton that you only want Liverpool. And that's always sort of been Liverpool's approach to uh, transfer. So that's what Sky Sports are saying. Um, they also said that the club's stance in there would need to be outgoings in midfield first. So this does contradict Fabrizio Romano's point ever so slightly, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, but basically it's sort of saying Thiago is attracting widespread interest. Before they sign another midfielder, Liverpool's ideal is if circumstances align, signing could happen regardless of exit. So they're just basically saying in an ideal world, they do want to see an outgoing uh, go out before they do bring in Romeo Lavia. Now, let's go on to what Fabrizio Romano said. And basically, he stated Southampton are holding out for 50 million quid, which we know for Lavia, but including add-ons or a player who is surplus to requirements at Anfield. So maybe Liverpool can give one of their younger players or a Tyler Morton or something like that. Um, and some money for the player. So it doesn't necessarily have to be £50 million pounds, um, up front. Uh, but basically, this would then allow the 19-year-old for less than the figure being touted. So it doesn't have to be £50 million cash. It can be for a player or in add-ons. That was for Rizzo Romano. And his latest update for Rizzo Romano this morning was Liverpool are still in for Romeo Lavia. There is no bid at this time to attack the market again for the midfield. It is important to sell some players. Sales do not necessarily need to be in the midfield field. Now we've been hearing about this selling thing for the last sort of couple of days now after 
after The Athletic published their report. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Everyone's trying to put the two and two together. Oh, is the sale going to have to be in the midfield? No, not necessarily. Does it have to be Thiago Jordan Henderson? No. The sales can come in any form. Look at the likes of Nat Phillips. Those sorts of players around the sort of squad. Nat Phillips, Tyler Mortons. These sorts of players that don't really have a future at the football club or an immediate future at the football club. These guys could be sort of offloaded for some cash to comply with FFP and of course just free up the wage bill ever so slightly. So yes, yes, Liverpool are going to be selling players. We already know that. I've came to you with Nat Phillips that he's attracting interest from Feyenoord, but it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a midfield player that has to go. So yeah, I'm not surprised by that, but that's the news we have from Fabrizio Romano. Some huge news with regards to that, that Romeo Lavia is an option despite reports um, sort of contradicting that he isn't, and he will likely be a uh, Liverpool signing should the player make out that he wants to join the football club. If Lavia says that he wants to join Liverpool this summer, Liverpool, you better believe, will be going in for the player this summer. And of course, need to make sure that they get that price down from 50 million quid. No one's going to be paying that. Not even Arsenal would pay that. Maybe Chelsea, but Chelsea, I think, at the moment are currently um, working on still outgoings and, of course, uh, Moses Casado. So that could uh, be beneficial for Liverpool. Now, there's another little sort of Easter egg, if you like. This could be preparing for Southampton. Fabrizio Romano also provided some news with regards to um, Southampton are closing on a deal to sign Manchester City midfielder Shay Charles, who supposedly plays in the same position as Lavia. Manchester City will receive 9 million quid. It will also include a buyback clause and a sell on clause for Manchester City. Charles will travel to this weekend for a medical if all goes to plan. So it does seem Southampton are preparing for life after. Um, Romeo Lavia and are sort of raiding the Manchester City uh, Academy. So yeah, that's maybe just a little Easter egg there to show you that Lavia will likely be moved on this summer. Whether it be Liverpool, well, watch this space. But Fabrizio Romano seems to think that the club are definitely in for him. Um, so we might just see a bit of movement on the outgoing side before things then move on the uh, incoming front. But that's it. That's all I've really got for you in terms of sort of transfer news. Uh, but it has been sort of um, a busy huge no, not a busy, quite a few days, but a busy sort of roundup today with regards to him. It does look like that is going to be the next player coming through the door. Uh, and then, of course, Liverpool back in pre-season tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, we might start to hear things from the media. Um, again, Jurgen Klopp usually sometimes comes out and addresses the media and shoots down things. So we will certainly might see some more updates. I don't think he's ever very vocal on, oh, are you going to sign Lavia? Uh, yes, we are. Or no, we're not. I don't think he's going to be that blunt, but... He'll just sort of be the respectful kind of football answers where he goes, well, it's not our player, blah, 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 those sorts of things. So I don't think we're actually going to hear anything from Klopp. Um, he'll probably sort of bring it down or he'll, still, he'll probably say we're working on players, um, et cetera, et cetera. Hopefully he just doesn't drop a bombshell like last year. I remember after the Darwin Nunes acquisition, it was like in June, he was like, that's it. There's no more signings. And we were all like, what? But the, the midfield needs work. So hopefully he doesn't do drop a bombshell like that. Uh, but yeah, we'll certainly find out tomorrow a bit more detail of what the sort of state of players. Maybe we'll come out and say, yes, we want to get two more players in. Yes, we try and offload this, that and the other. Uh, but that's the latest from Fabrizio Romano. Liverpool very much in the race for Romeo Lavia. Liverpool do want to sell some players and um, are willing to go in for him if Southampton bring their sort of price down. But that's all I've got for you today. Do let me know your thoughts on Romeo Lavia and is he a player you want to see at Liverpool Football Club this summer? Yes or no? Let me know down in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Remember, we do have Liverpool t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to copyclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.